Welcome to All Signs Tarot. This is a weekly love reading for the 11th to the 18th of April 2022 for the sign of Scorpio. Holy Spirit, show me the Scorpios who need to hear these messages. Oh, that's Scorpio. Look at that. King of Cups, Scorpio. There you go. You have very strong feelings, very deep. You're a very deep person and you understand yourself very well. You've been going through some kind of healing here. Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. It's like, I hear it's water off a duck's back. You are somebody who's very good at healing. And uh, even in the midst of a conflict, you're very good at keeping your calm. And uh, yeah, you know how to um, not get affected by uh, people trying to cause you conflict here. So there you go. I've got the King of Wands here. This could be the person who's trying to cause you conflict. Could be a Leo who's trying to cause you conflict here. So how are you going to deal with the Leo here? Maybe you love this person. Two of Wands. You're going to make some kind of decision regarding this person. Maybe you're going to walk away from this person. You're going to move away. Also, you could be watching this person to see what their ne next move is. This could be like a competitor of yours. Uh, this could be somebody who's competing with you for somebody else's heart. Also, this could be um, this could be a person that you have feelings for. <sighs> Is this person your uh, rival in love or something? Is the King of Wands your rival? I just got the strange notion that it could be you. You could be fighting yourself. <laughs> I mean, there's some kind of um, inner conflict. That's going on. Is this a love rival though? Let's see. So I've got the Three of Cups here, which is a yes, yes for me, because Three, three of Cups can represent the third party here. Seven of Cups. Yes, it's definitely a love rival. King of Wands is the person who's causing you conflict because they want the same person as you. Okay. Yeah. 37 could be significant, or 21. We've got seven of pentacles. This person's watching you. You're watching them and they're watching you. And you could both be watching the same person that you're interested in. Hmm. So we've got three of swords and the king of pentacles. There's another king here. There could be three people watching this person. There could be three strong competitors to, to this woman's heart. Possibly a woman. Not necessarily a woman. Could be another man. Whatever it is. But... Um, there could be free people, actually. You might know of this one person, but there could be somebody else in the background that you don't know about. The King of Pentacles could also be the person you're interested in. But the free came out again, and the, the free makes me think that there are, in fact, free people with very masculine energy, possibly males, who are interested in the same person. And we've got the Nine of Wands here. Somebody feels like they've been through a lot. We also have the Seven of Wands. Maybe the person that you're actually interested in is very guarded to all, towards all, all three of you. Who is the person that you're actually interested in? Knight of Swords could be an air sign. Could be somebody younger. Male or female. They could be younger than you and all the other person who are interested in. All the other people who are interested in them. It could be a Gemini that you're interested in. Sagittarius or Gemini. Oh my god, I said Sagittarius or Gemini and the, the Sagittarius card flipped over. That's so weird. Because I was looking at this Nine of Wands and I saw the Seven of Wands. And both of those are Sagittarius cards. So I was thinking maybe it's a Sagittarius. Sagitta I can't even talk. It could be a Sagittarius too. And as I said that, boom. Knight of Wands flipped over. So this person could, could be very... This person could have kind of like multiple personalities almost. So sometimes this person is kind of like a Gemini, at other times they're like their opposite sign, which is Sagittarius, because Sagittarius and Gemini are opposites. So this person could either be very balanced in their yin and their yang, their masculine and feminine. This person could be like an earth angel kind of energy, but this could also be somebody who is a bit two-faced. So it depends if they're high vibrational or low vibrational, but I guess if they're attracting so much king energy, they could be high vibrational rather than low vibrational because all the kings are in the upright here. 
and the king can represent an older male but it could also represent somebody who is very um mature so i've got the queen of swords here this person could have a lot of air and fire in their chart this person could be very uh, intelligent or very good with their words this could be somebody who's also very worldly king of swords what the hell look at that Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Knight of Swords. This person, yeah, they have a lot of air energy. They could have all kinds of air signs in their chart. And Sagittarius too. Wow. So maybe all these uh, people are interested in this person because they're very intelligent. They could also be very spiritual. Okay, so what's going to happen here? Are you going to win over these other dudes and be with the Knight of Swords or whoever? here? Yeah. <laughs> But you see how many different energies they had, because uh, this person is represented by all these court cards, basically. So this person could have kind of like multiple personality, or they could be kind of a shapeshifter. This person, I don't know, yeah, they're good at lots of things. They know a lot of things also. But like, yeah, they, they might be kind of difficult to live with. I don't know. Yes, it's true. I just said they're difficult to live with and I got the Ace of Pentacles, which is a yes in the upright, right? So yeah, this person's kind of difficult. They're intelligent, they're interesting, they're spiritual, but they're kind of a pain in the A. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. This person could be very uh, financially stable, though. Or if you were with this person, you'd have a lot of money. This person could also be in a relationship, possibly. Or they, yeah, I don't know. Is this person in a relationship? We've got the Three of Pentacles. This is more like a business partnership with the Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. 34 could be significant. Six of Swords. Maybe they're divorced. This person could have been a in a relationship, but now they are divorced. It could be. Um, they could also be working with the person that they were married to maybe they have a business together they could have divorced but they still work on the business together or something like that i'm not sure ten of cups nine of swords ten of swords seven of swords somebody was cheating somebody cheated here or somebody yeah there was a relationship but somebody could have cheated and that's what um, made them walk away was this person the one who cheated or the other one let's see was this person the one who cheated is that why the relationship ended? Because this person, Queen of Wands, it could be. Queen of Wands is cheating. Okay, yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person is the one who cheated. Yeah, that's why the, their relationship ended, because they cheated on somebody else. And now they've got three um, very intelligent or very powerful men looking at this uh, person male or female they could be a woman i think it's a woman but it's a woman with a more masculine energy very intellectual kind of energy here so yeah but this person's a cheater so there you go that's what you needed to know about this person it's true yeah it's true they're a cheater the fool uh flipped over and i can barely talk what the hell two of cups this could be a soulmate of yours though but the, your soulmate is um is kind of a pain in the a to live with and they're a cheater so it is what it is. Yeah, that's the message I've got for you, Scorpio. Sorry to say, but yeah, Two of Swords. This person's heart could be very blocked. And this person could have a lot, a lot of air in their chart. Lots of air. And now I've got the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe they've got Earth too. Queen of Pentacles. Ah, they're not grounded. Queen of Pentacles reversed. I said they have a lot of air in their chart. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed is like somebody who's not grounded. Also, this person could, oh, they might, they might have sex for money. That's another thing here. Hmm. Is this person a prostitute? He's got the ten of wands here, so that could be true. Yeah, they might be a prostitute. This person is very burdened by some kind of karma that they have. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah, this is a very tortured soul here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, they're definitely... Yeah, I really do think that they have sex for money. They could be traveling a lot too. 
and wherever they travel they have sex for money with different people this person might have like a, a main business that they do and they um they might say that they travel for that particular business, but whenever they travel on business trips, they're actually having sex with people, possibly for money. It could be. Yeah, this is like a high-end prostitute that you're interested in, I'm afraid, Scorpio. Seven of Wands. You see how much uh, fire and air I'm getting for this person? It's incredible. This is more Sagittarius energy. 87 could be significant. I think you need to block this person, you need to stay away from this person, and um, also it's like the universe is blocking you from this person anyway. Eight of Cups, walk away Scorpio. Eight of Cups is Scorpio, so there you go, you need to walk away from this person because it's, uh, it's not a good thing here. Anything else? Five of Cups, 85, 87, Th those could be significant uh, years possibly. Also the, the months of May, July and August could be significant. Six of Swords, again it's telling you to definitely walk away from this person. Even though you're going to be sad, you're going to be grieving, you need to walk away. Cut your losses and go, basically. Yeah, that's the message for Scorpio. I hope, I hope this helps someone. Oh my god, I can't talk, bye. <laughs>